Well, congratulations, Missouri State. Missouri State, they played very well, and um, and we did not. And uh, I'll take the blame for that. You know, you know there's buck stops here, so we uh, we did not have a lot of energy today, and for whatever reason, and I didn't think we ever ever got control of the game uh, as we went through it. And um, but very disappointing after what we did last weekend. Uh, any cause that you can you can guess on why you didn't have the energy? No, not not really. Um, uh, don't don't know that answer right now. <laughs> it's hard to say. Uh, we you know we took we took Sunday off uh, off the practice field. We didn't go on the practice field. We stayed in and watched the tape and gave them the afternoon off and uh, or the early evening off. So we didn't. Uh, practice, so we gave him extra time to rest. So I, I don't know if that was, you know, that, that had nothing to do with it. So uh, I don't know. You know, yeah, you gotta, you gotta figure that out. How would you compare this loss to the North Dakota State one? Mm. Um, a little, you know, similar probably. Um, diff, just a different way that the quarterback really was good. I thought. Um, we, but we beat ourselves a lot today, and uh, just the opposite of what happened last week. We, you know, we turned the ball over, and we didn't. We haven't done that in a while, uh, at least like that. We, we we turned it over a ton today, and put our defense, at, who was struggling anyways, and put them back on the field. And with a short field, we just that's why I punted so much at the end of the game. They didn't want to put them out there a short field again on fourth down. So I didn't, I didn't think they deserved that, but um, but that's that's something. That has to get fixed because you can't. You got. You got to take care of turnover. The turnover uh, margin is a really. Or the turnover battle is really a big statistic in football, and that's part. And the first axiom of winning is don't beat yourself. So, but so we turned the ball over, gave up big plays, couldn't get off the field on third down and critical and critical uh, uh, third downs on defense, and then uh, the quarterback hit some uh, really nice scrambles and, and hit, hit hit guys open and uh, or, or or he he ran them open, and it was. Uh, it was, a, it was a tough day for us. We just didn't, didn't play well. We beat ourselves in a lot of ways. It seems like Missouri State was able to get pressure on the quarterbacks, even with just three three man rush at times. Uh, did you see the same thing? Or no? I did. I, I, not as much as three man. The four man rush was was a, was a little bit dicey. I, I thought they were getting a pretty good push, and um, you know that's not um, something you want. Uh, on, on the quarterback, but um, yeah, but we didn't play by any stretch of the We didn't play very well up front, but uh, particularly inside, uh, I thought that's where the, the issues were. At least in the running game was was inside, and I, 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 both our quarterbacks weren't weren't great today. You know, they, they didn't have great days either. So they're they're not uh, none of us are are uh, uh, blame free, I guess, if you will, whatever you want to call it. But uh, and it all falls on me. I, I need to get them, get them better. So so we'll do. What about Keandre? What's the update? He was um, he had, he, had, he was sore from last week. Uh, he had an upper body injury that uh, we felt that uh, he got cleared to play late in the week. Uh, had not practiced much, and uh, we felt it wasn't worth putting him out there and getting him injured worse than the you know, area is, and because there is that chance, so we we did not play him today. Um, so um, he should be fine next week. Uh, should be. Uh, we'll see how he is tomorrow and. Uh, Monday and with a with, uh, day off on Monday, and then we'll come back and, and we'll do our, our uh, competition Tuesday and see how he see how he looks. But he he was he was getting better as in the week, and he was clear to play. We just we just felt he he he's not a guy that's, that can go out there and play without practicing a lot. You know, he's just he's just not that. He needs reps, and he didn't he didn't get that this week. So we we sat him and rested him. So you feel that. Contributed to the defensive defenses. I don't know. I, I I didn't see that. You know, I might see something different tomorrow and watch the tape. Um, but I didn't. I didn't see that. And I don't think that him not being on the field meant that we'd won the game. Uh, but we do. We do miss his. He has energy, and he's he's uh, he's a very good leader. Um, but so is C.J. Hodgson. He's a very good leader, and he he, he he's a, he's a good he's a good player. I I didn't see. Or CJ, you know, I thought CJ played 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 solid for us. I didn't see a whole lot of issues with him, but I can go back and watch, you know, watch the tape. I might see something, but uh, right now I don't I don't see where that was an issue. Uh, 
in a game like this where things don't go well pretty much from the beginning, do you do you feel like you need to do something, but you don't want to uh, go too far with changes? Yeah, I mean it's hard to do that, you know, at this time of year. Um, but you, you have to look at everything, and I, I would say everything's on the board and you know on the table, and because um, we, we we can't play like this again, in my opinion. Um, shouldn't play like that today. So um, for we're gonna uh, look at this very closely, and uh, and uh, and we gotta see if we can find some answers. But we didn't. Just like last week's game, I didn't see that coming. That scored in today's game. Was scored the way it was. I didn't see this game coming. So it's you know take the bad with the good, I guess. Else, Coach? That's it. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Thanks, well, boys, could you just uh, describe that first play or the first touchdown that they had, the 62-yard pass, just from your perspective? Uh, well, I mean, they took a shot. Obviously, uh, defensively, we had a blown coverage, and um. You know, we supposed to have a deep half guy, and we didn't, and it just kind of got away from us, and they, they capitalized on our mistake. When did you realize that the coverage was blown? Because I know you were trying to trail. Yeah, uh, so uh, me personally at linebacker, I'm never in a situation where I'm carrying verticals by myself. So when I turned around and didn't see anybody, I realized that it probably was a blown coverage. And from that point, I was just trying to get the ball down. With coach thought there was somewhat of a, a lack of energy. Did you did you feel that on the field? Uh, at times on the field, I will say that I felt a lack of energy. But um, I think coming out, we had our, our head on straight. Um, obviously, the game got away from us pretty fast, and I think uh, that's kind of demoralizing when you're trying to get things going. It's not exactly going your way. Steve, what did you feel out there as far as you know, when they got? They get off to the quick start. Was it was it tough to for the team to kind of turn that turn that around momentum wise? Yeah, it was uh, definitely tough. You know, they went down there, scored pretty fast, and uh, it's always hard uh, to get that momentum back. But it's a game of football, so it is a game of momentum. So we just need to come together as a team and uh, hopefully get it next time. What do you see as it's kind of the best way to move on from a, a disappointing game like this? Uh, leave this in the past and definitely um, just get back to the. Drawing boards and um, just go to practice, work hard, go to film, watch film, and just get better and get ready for next week. Kind of same question, LaVoy. What the, you're, you've been around a lot of big wins and, and big losses. What, what do you see as kind of the most effective way to, to kind of move on and, and be ready to play their, your best next week? Yeah, uh, I mean, we made our bid, so we got to land it for a week, unfortunately. But, um, you know, throughout the week, we just got to um, – get back to the drawing board, like he said, and um, take everything that we learned tomorrow in film and actually apply it to next game and the games after that. And then from there, I think that's our recipe to be better than we were today. I guess for both of you guys, at what point did you feel like the game kind of got away? Um, I wouldn't say I had a feeling that the game got away, but obviously uh, when you're down multiple scores with two or three minutes left in the game, then it, it becomes a realization. But when you're in between the white lines, you always think you got a chance. Whether it's two or three scores, you always have a chance, especially if, you know, a big play on defense or special teams can happen. We had a couple of good returns. So if one of those could have popped for us, that would have been the momentum that we needed. And then the offense could have got going and we could have got going. So at no point, you know, until it was like clear and obvious that the game was over with, but I didn't feel like it was over until two or three minutes left. Yeah, um, exactly what he says. Um, this queen, this team don't quit, so I never had a thought that it was over. But, um, you know, it just hurts going down that much that early. And um, hopefully we don't shoot ourselves in the foot like that next week or going through this last stretch. So hopefully we just do better. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.